All right, guys, so I know I filled you in the other day that they discovered that they did steal the Cadillac converters. That's where they cut the, cut that, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a tension cable or whatever. And then they actually pried up on it right there on the fence to get up under it. And uh, the Cadillac converter off of that van, and I think it was this SUV, uh, they took both of them off of. So, insane you know it, it, i don't even know what to say just insane but they uh they got some new stuff here implemented in place that should take care of any uh future folks that want to swing on through so might get a surprise if you go under that fence here all right guys so end of the work day here Lath and I came to Tractor Supply because, no joke, my chickens are escape artists. So, we've winged them twice. They're winged. We fenced them, and they still keep escaping. So, we lost one the other day to a vehicle, and uh, not trying to lose any more. So, what I'm thinking, for a quick fix, this baby right here. It's 10 by 10 dog kennel chain link fence i can move it around the yard give them different grasses different areas if they need put to the huh you need to put the dog on them in there. yeah put the dog in there too i mean it's not too heavy it's kind of cheap honestly yeah 400 bucks you know and it's, i'll have it forever when i relocate them to the property and put them in there as well and they'll be locked up I won't let them out <laughs> so i had to call make sure they had it in stock before we go normally that's open but that's what we're doing, we'll be right back. All right guys, got what we needed. Also picked up some uh, soil for the old vegetables. Thanks, Lathan. I must ask you, why are you so dirty, man? I don't know, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Like bring this side this way a little bit. serious about needing to get rid of those i told you i only got so far yes i know the chain's dull i need to get it very dull the chickens are like what's going on here getting evicted <laughs>
They don't know that call yet. This is the chicken. Chick in. All right, guys. So Lathan took off. He helped us kind of set it up real quick. Big shout out to Lathan. He stuck around and uh, hung out with us. So we uh, temporarily put some zip ties just because we knew we weren't going to use all four walls. And the back side closer to the chicken coop comes in at an angle. So we wanted to make sure it was going to work before we bolted everything up. But it comes with these. They'll just kind of be bolted on randomly. Uh, you kind of got to look for them. But then you just put them on the inside. Close it up there. Hold it there with one hand. Put the other one on the outside like a sandwich. 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 Put the nut on. What's up, chickens? You guys aren't uh, escaping anymore, are you? <laughs> got locked up we won't let you out there you have it 46,000 bucks Spencer Lawn Care come get you hooked up with some chicken uh, coop <laughs> fencing told you we'd go into the fencing business right told you yeah. <laughs> I think it looks a lot better, a hundred times better. For sure. Way more structurally sound. Uh, we will do some modifications as we get better. We are contemplating buying the roof tarp and putting on it, but we like the simple fact that we can move this pretty quickly by hand if, say, we don't want them in this area again because we kind of have a process. So we started over here, we're kind of working our way, and uh, you know, moving it a little bit further across. And once we transport these guys to the new property, uh, we're going to kind of do the same thing just because we want them to fertilize that lawn area where we're going to put the garden. So back there is good. we got some cleanup to do. Now they've already been working on this in a short amount of time and you can, you can tell they're putting in work already. So uh, we can move this pretty darn quick, pretty easy. Uh, I guess I'll give you a tour around here or TQ can give you a, a tour of her crib here if she wants. Here. 10 by 10 by 6. Yes. You can get it at Tractor Supply, guys. 419 bucks as of right now. So I did want to say we did price out real quick to do wooden corner, 4x4, four four, treated post, you know, some 2x4s along the bottom, and then come in with a thicker metal fencing uh, to go around the whole entire thing. And believe it or not, I, I think, yes, it was just a hair bit cheaper, but super expensive, even just for the wooden metal. Uh, this is a better option. We can take this thing down. We can move it very quickly if we want to, and it's not really going to rust apart very fast. So with that being said, also, we're not really trying to stop the predators from getting into this area here during the day, simply because the dogs are typically out here, and we really haven't had any issues during the day here. Uh, at nighttime, they'll go into their house, and that's all locked up, secured. The omelet door, as long as we don't run out of battery, like our last time with the oh, old fox. That was so unfortunate. The fox went into the chicken coop uh, when we lost ten of them last year. So we we're checking our battery. We actually just did check it. It's at thirty percent. So probably another week here, we'll swap it out, and they'll be good to go. So nice and secure in there. But TQ, go ahead and show them the rest of what we did. So we only put up the three sides of the fencing. We thought. I wanted easier access for this door that we put in here. Um, that way I can get in here, get the eggs. Now there are some back there. They're not they're not laying in their little box, so I don't know why, but this gives us easy access to clean and get the eggs. Well, I think I know why. I think they're just a little too snug for them. Uh, when we did all of our research, it said keep them pretty snug so they didn't want to like get up in there and mess around or anything uh, and potentially break their eggs. But I think we made them a little too small. So I am considering uh, recutting this and building a new box on here and trying to get them laying up here where we have easy access. So we, we have the metal mesh fencing all the way around the bottom. Yep, we just came in with nails and just bent them over. 
And then when they do lay, we have easy access to the boxes here. And then I have the PVC piping feeders, gravity feeders that I made myself. Um, this is nicely secure around those as well. I will say the chipmunk likes to feed. Yes, we do have a chipmunk here as well. And then it just butts right up against that, nicely secured. You see there, nothing too fancy. We just put some zip ties on it and uh, have the feed here, the self feeders here. This is how they come from the store. So this doesn't really do anything here. They have these. So you'll, you'll just unhook these and then you can put them to your corners. But like TQ said, we didn't use the last piece. We are considering seeing if we can buy another piece of this and we'll actually extend it out one way or another. So it can either be a little wider or a little bit longer, I guess you could say. I do want to mention that when it rains, the water sheds off the back and the, the coop is tilted this way a little bit. So I do want to put like a catch basin here and then that way there's easy watering system out here for the chickens as well. Yep, I will say I just noticed we made one mistake though. What? So the wire is on the outside of all of them, but this one. Um, so we need to flip that around, but it's not a big deal. No, it, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have our bell in here from Gary chickens let us know when they're hungry and uh i will say we're already liking this setup a lot better than the other setup uh before we just kind of put the temporary uh plastic fencing up and we de-winged them and they kept either jumping that thing or climbing under it whatever and uh we just constantly were chasing them so this keeps them in they haven't got out since we've put them in here and uh, we're able to come in, do our thing if we need to. Easy access all the way around. Easy here. Yep, and if we need to, we can lock the dogs up. <laughs> all right, guys, so my brother works at a bakery here in town, and he gets all these food-grade buckets left over from dough. So they got just a little bit of dough residue left in them. So I'm going to actually plant some of my uh, stuff in here, get it going, and then uh, whenever I need to, transport it over to the property and replant them they should have a good structure uh root base here for sure but i want to put some holes in them first just for drainage so i went ahead and swapped my drill out real quick the other one just wasn't going to cut it so i'm just going to put holes and i'm actually going to put a couple on the side this does have a lip here, if you can pick it up, about a quarter inch lip, but I'm afraid that grass and dirt might clog them up. So I'm gonna put just a few around the sides as well. That'll uh, help because I don't wanna drown the plants. And I know, I know you guys came to a lawn care channel and you're like, what the heck am I watching right now? This is by no means a how-to, okay? This is how to figure it out how-to. So my overall concept is to pretty much have, I guess, raised beds with my retaining wall here without having to really build uh, anything. Not saying we won't build anything, but the game plan is right now is to just utilize these buckets.
So we actually have our own compost pile going. It's just not ready yet. We just started it last fall and uh, it's just not to where I want it to be to use it for our plants and everything. We probably will use it in the garden a little bit. break up some of these big clumps. I want these to be pretty full. So I picked up some different grapes at our local farm store. And I really just want to get these going before we actually plant them at our place. What we want to do is get good roots growing on these things. So getting the roots all out here, broke up. And like I said, this is no how to, this is just simply us trying to provide uh, some food for our family to, uh, you know, not have to go to the grocery store as much, so. There's a root way up this thing as well, so. And I'm trying to, from what I read, you want to make sure those roots are facing down and out. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Roots come way up here. All right, so got everything put in the buckets here. Got what they are wrote down here. Like a can Candice, I believe it's called. A Mars. A uh, Kincaid. This is a Thomas. I've had some uh, sweet peppers as well. And then some broccoli. There's actually three broccoli in here. But the chickens got a hold of a lot of my stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> going to see what takes, what doesn't here. Probably move some stuff as well. I just wanted to really get this into some soil. And, uh you know get these buckets utilized and really get the grapes going so that whenever we do uh, get out to the property probably this winter or fall we'll go ahead and transplant all these when they should be pretty much dormant hey will you go get me that milk crate though real quick take the paintbrush and just paint right up along the edge here and in these cracks okay as much as you can Ain't gotta be perfect, it's just a chicken coop.
So we are using a stain here by a company called Cabot. And I don't remember the exact color, but I do know it's kind of like a true stain. It really just brings out the natural color of whatever said wood. And with this being said, we let this just naturally fade itself with the sun over the last year, year and a half since we built it uh, over the winter time. Not this past year, but the year before. And uh, now it's time to apply the stain. And I think it really brings out a lot of its, uh, its natural beauty. And we didn't want to lose that in and of itself. I thought about doing some uh, burning on it, but yeah, Sean Boy came out, helped me out, and got as much as he could reach, and we continued on. All right, guys, so that'll give you a general idea of the color and what it's gonna look like. So this is a good stopping point because it's starting to sprinkle and I gotta get to Miley's travel ball game. So I'm gonna put this into a plastic bag so that I can finish it up. Uh, probably, well, it won't be tonight because we won't be done with softball till probably dark. So first thing tomorrow. If you can't get enough of Spencer Longhair in my absolutely beautiful voice, you can follow us on our Instagram page, Spencer Longhair. And you can also follow us on our TikTok page, Spencer Lawn Care LLC. There is a fake account, Spencer Lawn Care. Don't follow that one. Make sure it has LLC on TikTok. All right, guys. So nothing yet here on our seeds that we started. Should be uh, something popping up here real soon. I'm assuming in the next few days at least. But got a ton of work done. I'm going to finish watering these. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. Or keep gardening, keep staining your chicken coop. Just keep making money. Talk to you later. Peace. Bye.